Well, hello and welcome. Today we're at Virginia State University's Randolph Farm, and we're going to be talking about rain barrels and how you might be able to use them for the home garden. We're here with Miss uh, Rachel Lawmaster. Rachel's with the Urban Ag uh, program here at VSU. Rachel, can a home gardener use a rain barrel? Would it be a beneficial thing for them to put together? Absolutely, Chris. Uh, most people have gutters already on their houses that they can tap into. Even if you have that hose, this just gives you an extra way to save that water and reuse that out in the garden. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Most people can put it together in half a day easy. Okay, well I love the idea of collecting water. You know, it's, that's you know helpful to the environment probably. And so you're getting the water off the roof. I've noticed you've got gutters on this little small outbuilding. You've got a gutter and it comes down to this, uh, this spout right here you've put together. Absolutely. What are the other parts and pieces that you need for this system? Well, it's pretty simple. You just need a good size barrel. Um, I was fortunate to find this uh, food grade size barrel, which is definitely what I would recommend most people get. Um, make sure you're still cleaning it out always. Um, and then after that, you just need to find either a spigot. You can do a two-way. You can do a single way. Just have it so where it can cut off and on. And where would that, that's this one like right here, right? Right here, yeah. Okay. So you definitely want it low to the ground, um, you know, as, as close to the bottom as you can get. Uh, it does tend to get pretty thick in the plastic there, so it's right. kind of easier just to drill maybe an inch above. Okay. Um, and what you know, while we're here, Rachel, I've noticed that you've got this on blocks. It's a little high up. Is that oh, a good thing to do? Yes, absolutely. The higher you can go up, the more pressure that you'll have and be able to have that water running out. Okay, makes sense. So back to this uh, hose bib. How do you get that in there? You have to use a hole saw, and um, these are pretty easy if you already have a drill. You can get the right bit. Um, most of your hoses are going to be at a three-quarter inch, um, and you just take that plugger in, find your hole at the bottom, mark it, and drill right in there. Um, pretty easy. You, yeah, you just want this to match up with the size yeah, that you're going to be okay. Yeah. Okay. So then you'll take your your hose and um, love the plumber's tape put that on there i was able to really just screw mine in okay. this plastic was pretty thick uh, sometimes you need to come on the other side uh, with a connector okay screw that in okay uh, but Makes this sense. is the easy way and then always just as a safe precaution in the end use some kind of uh, quick seal to go around it um, and it'll keep it. I think I usually check this about once a year, maybe add a little bit more um, okay. the weather in. Yeah, you want to keep the water in the barrel, not leaking out, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. <laughs> that's well, right. Well, that's good. Yeah, and then you're just tying into your gutter system. Uh, most people already have it where it's going all the way down. You can cut into this. This one was plastic. I was able to cut it with just this little handsaw. You just used this. You extended it down the way yeah. you needed it. Right to where I needed it. Um, we also have the the nice flexible kind to tie into. So there's different options to get yeah, it into the barrel itself. Absolutely. Um, what have you got here? I do have a screen here just in case. I don't have too many trees around, but anything that falls into the gutters and everything, I just want to keep it out of the rain barrel. Um, another key to that is my rain barrel is opaque. So it doesn't let that light in. So I'm not going to have to worry about algae growth as much as a clear container, some kind of container that so lets that light. Would you paint that if you had a clear container? I think I would paint it, absolutely. Um, also, if in the winter time, if you're trying to grow anything, if you paint it black, it's going to retain more heat too. So there's a little benefit there. Or I like to stick mostly with just blue because in the summertime, I don't want it to get too hot. I got gotcha. you. Okay, that, that makes sense. I think there's lots of ways to put this together and people can use their imagination oh, and, yes, and make sure you yes. can collect it. Yeah, but I've seen them tied into other barrels and that looks pretty easy. Just another hole up here, an overflow hole. Uh, this one already has some overflow holes up in here, okay. but then you can tie that right into several other barrels. Okay, so this is going to be destined to water your plants, right? Yes, and so how do you get the water from this to your plants most likely? Well, I usually just come around with my watering can, come down here, and turn her on and she comes out. I've kind of drained her a little bit, but you can see how clear that water sure. is. Sure, yeah, really clean. It's okay. pretty good. Okay, so you could just use that if you had a pump and you wanted to pump out of here. If you, you want to set it up onto a, you know, a small line of drip tape or soaker hose, you definitely will need some kind of sump pump in there okay. um, to get that pressure correct. Okay, okay. Well, this seems like it would be a great addition to a home garden. You know, if, if you're growing vegetables, you need water. There's always going to be drought times. Definitely. And this is one way to collect it and uh, use that water. Yes, and it comes in handy a lot for our local community gardens that don't have any irrigation, but there's usually a neighbor that is willing to let you use their gutters. So. Yeah. Well, thank you, Rachel, for thank showing us you. what you're doing today. <laughs> 
Well, for more information about how to put together a rain barrel system, contact your local county extension office and talk to a master gardener. For From the Ground Up, I'm Chris Mullins. We'll see you next time. From the Ground Up is presented with the generous advice and assistance of Virginia Cooperative Extension. Visit their website at ext.vt.edu.